City View ISD board members have voted for more paid personal leave for the four administrators arrested for failure to report child abuse. After meeting in closed session for more than three hours last night, the board voted to allow Superintendent Tony Bouchong, Assistant Superintendent Carrie Allen, Athletic Director Rudy Hawkins, and Counselor Cindy Leverton to remain on personal leave for the next three weeks. Before the meeting was adjourned, the board then voted unanimously to appoint Jesse Thomas, the City View Junior Senior High Principal, as the acting superintendent. These decisions come after much criticism from community members who say the arrests and charges were steps in the right direction, but allowing the four to remain in their leadership positions is a step backwards. I went to school with some of the people who were affected by this and um, seeing their posts and things like that, that they're extremely happy and that the proper steps are being taken. So I'm going to put this on y'all. Do you really think that our superintendent after these allegations, our coach, our counselor, all these people are going to be able to walk right back in here and pick up where and carry on. Guilty or innocent, the allegations were made. And in the court of public appeal, they're all guilty. Thank you. Now the next board meeting will be sometime in March. Thomas said this afternoon that it could come at the end of that three week period and that information about the meeting will be posted at least 72 hours before it begins. We will of course keep you updated with the latest regarding the investigation on air and on our website.